Hi everyone I welcome you all in the Your Developer Communities podcast series this is your this is Chavi your podcaster of the day and today we have Nicola with us he is so amazing to be honest when when uh, like I've dropped uh, his all the socials in the description really when you'll just go through his uh, socials you'll see that how amazingly he represented everything about his domain about his passion and everything so with that uh, like currently he's a Microsoft MVP and all so he is uh, the uh, plural right author at the same time so with that i would be very happy to welcome you sir in the today's podcast hi chavi hi thanks for the nice introduction and uh, i'm happy to join you uh, in this podcast I'm, i'm i'm so glad to have you and with that uh, first of all uh, I, i guess we can talk about more about how you get started with your azure journey and how is it going being an mvp in the data platform uh, domain because i have seen that data platform is uh, somehow the uh, like best domain the mv the microsoft uh, mvps usually choose okay so uh, can you tell us more about it yeah sure uh, so uh, my journey started Yeah, a long time ago, <laughs> uh, I'm old enough to remember some old versions of SQL Server, uh, like to, uh, SQL Server 2000, uh, and uh, and uh, all the other versions afterwards. So I started, as you may assume, uh, working with uh, relational databases, uh, and I spent almost all my career working with Microsoft Data products. So. it was some short period working with oracle database but mostly i was uh, linked to microsoft data products so i started with as i said with sql server then uh, i also also worked uh, with uh, uh, other uh, offerings from this traditional uh, business intelligence tech like uh, sql server analysis services integration services reporting services and uh, then like maybe five and a half years ago i started work with uh, power bi and uh, in last let's say maybe three years uh, uh, when this uh, azure and everything else become uh, became a thing uh, i also moved to more uh, cloud development like uh, using uh, again data platform offerings uh, from microsoft like uh, azure synapse analytics uh, azure data factory for data orchestration and still power bi so Today my work is uh, mostly uh, uh, compounded of uh, working with Power BI, Synapse Analytics and uh, Azure Data Factory. That that's how would I say regarding MVP uh, award that was a huge uh, huge thing for me back then uh, because uh, you're being recognized for the contributions you're doing for the community. So I was really happy that uh, those contributions were recognized and uh, Yeah so uh, uh, as you said it, it's a privilege and and honor to be uh, Microsoft MVP That's so true that's so true and uh, like again uh, when you uh, like in uh, like when you see look back uh, in in the past you see that okay uh, I used to work day and night to get that tag and also uh, it's not at all easy to be at such a place where you are currently so i know how much hard work you have put uh, you you actually put uh, to be the microsoft mvp moving with that uh, again as i mentioned before in in the starting that uh, when ever like someone will just go to your profile it's so amazing to see and there's something that is written that uh, you can make music with data so this is something which is very much amazing and i am quite curious with that so can you please put some light on that how you can actually make music with data <laughs> and how is it going like and especially how actually it started to be honest yeah that, that that's a great question and i'm often being asked uh, uh, this question so uh, this let's go uh, reverse engineering so from uh, this i make music from the data that uh, comes from Uh, my nickname that i'm using which is a data mozart and that data mozart nickname comes from the fact that uh, i live in salzburg in austria uh, and uh, salzburg is uh, worldly famous as the birthplace of wolfgang amadeus mozart and yeah I-, i was brave enough to uh, to allow myself to use his last name as part of my nickname so it started like i don't know a few years back uh, i was considering starting blogging and uh, I was trying to find some, you know, proper 
name for the for the blog for uh, for my domain, and uh, I, I couldn't come up with anything you know that is not already like data something. And then I was like, okay, I live in Salzburg. Here everything is in sign of uh, Mozart, so why don't use data Mozart? There are no data Mozarts around, so I started blogging with data Mozart. And then, uh, of course, Mozart music, that's, uh, that's the, the obvious uh, uh, link. And then, yeah, I came up with this, uh, let's make music from the data, or I make music from the data. Th that's, the, that's the origin of, of uh, uh, that sentence. That's actually amazing to see. And also, uh, again, uh, like, it's... Uh, it's something that makes the other person so much curious to know more about it that how you're actually doing and how it shows because uh, whenever we see that okay the person is engineer the person is microsoft mvp they actually uh, won't be able to understand that what on like uh, on, on what func the functionalities you are currently working on so uh, i guess this is a very nice way to tell people uh, more about your skills and what you are actually building uh, with uh, with all your skills and with that how azure is helping in all those things like uh, like can you tell us in, uh, in 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 like in a very crisp and also in a simple manner that how uh, this whole thing works like in a gist yeah thanks yeah that that's a good question so i'll try to to explain as simple as possible uh so i'm uh, uh working now as an independent consultant and uh, trainer for uh microsoft data platform and mostly focused on on azure uh, data services uh so uh, basically uh in my day-to-day -day work uh, i'm advising different customers uh, about architectural choice choices uh which service to use, uh, for example, if they are working with Azure Synapse, uh, should they use dedicated or, or serverless SQL pool, or maybe if they have a lot of experienced uh, Spark engineers, then to leverage Spark pools within Azure Synapse Analytics. So it's mostly related to architectural choices uh, and decisions uh, uh, to modernize their data platforms. Nowadays, there are a lot of companies out there uh, which are still, I would say, on... Uh, I can't say outdated technologies, but uh, uh, let's say technologies that are uh, mature, but uh, they, they still need some kind of modernization in order to, to leverage all the capabilities uh, and uh, uh, to solve all the challenges that come with uh, yeah, uh, huge amounts of data, different ways, uh, uh, different flavors of data storage. Uh, like for example, in old systems, in traditional systems, uh, you could have stored uh, structured data. Now we have uh, 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 data that comes from IoT devices, data coming from social media, uh, uh, streaming data, and so on. It's hard to 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 uh, accommodate this data in those traditional uh, uh, data storage systems. So I'm advising customers how to uh, take this proper way to to handle all these uh, new types of data. And uh, finally, with, uh, with setting up the proper uh, business reporting platform, uh, because one thing is uh, that you have data stored somewhere. The other thing is uh, to extract some meaningful information from, uh, from that data. And then that's the point where business reporting system plays the, the key role. And uh, basically, I'm advising clients uh, about also architectural choices uh, when using uh, Power BI. Uh, should they use import modes, uh, direct query storage mode, composite models, uh, how to tune performance of their uh, existing reports, uh, how to migrate from old systems to, to new ones. So basically that's the, the uh, part of the Azure platform, which is really broad. This this Azure platform is really broad. So that's the part of, of the platform that I'm using and that I'm familiar with. And from my experience, the, the key advantage of uh, using all these uh, uh, technologies that I mentioned, so Azure Synapse Analytics, Data Factory, and Power BI, for example, is a tight integration. Uh, because uh, when you operate in an enterprise environment, uh, there are a lot of data, a lot of data sources. So the one, one of the biggest challenges is, is how to integrate all this data, how to integrate all these services and offerings 
so that you can scale and offer a proper solution to to the whole organization and that's where the azure uh comes up with uh, with this tight integration between different services and you can yeah basically choose between many many different options to to find the be best solution that's actually pretty much amazing and i also i uh, really love the way you uh, added the uh, functionality challenges and everything in uh, such a crisp manner and uh, i'm pretty much sure that people are going to be uh, curious like me only when they'll just uh, check out uh, your socials and also they'll um, uh, get some more understanding that how to actually present your skills in a very nice manner because uh, as i mentioned before uh, people are not able to tell um, others that uh, okay on this domains i'm working on and this sort of impact i can create with with my coding skills and with my cloud skills so with that note um, thanks a lot for joining in today and it was really great having you talking about how to make uh, music with code uh, which is something really much amazing and not just code basically data so yeah thanks a lot nicola uh, it was really great having you and with that note uh, we'll be uh, having some amazing podcast super soon coming up thanks thanks javi thanks for inviting me and uh, greetings to all your listeners yeah sure thank you thank you